Pick and Boost Vintage. And I'm honored to take part in this Makerthon today. Um, we're going to have some fun. So when I wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> one second. Wait till you see that it's a you are live in the middle. Oh, I sorry. Don't know. Sometimes it just, that's okay. I know, I know. And then I was, was having my echo? internet. Did, was hmm? there an echo? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, hold tight. <clears throat> okay. Um, hold tight. <laughs> I, my internet says, is being weird. Hold on one second. It still says that I'm live, so. <laughs> okay, one second. My internet is being funky. One if we're live, I can show you some stuff because it says we're live. These are some of the things we're going to be talking about today. Here's my little bunny. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go, Shannon. We are live. I, th I thought so. <laughs> okay. Love technology, right? Okay. So, again, my name is Shannon Stefanacci, and I am with Pick and Booze Vintage down in sunny southwest Florida. And um, we're going to talk about some spring things today. And there's nothing more to me that's a spring than flowers and things that are growing. So we're going to have some fun with some pots. So we're going to, I'm going to show you some examples of some of the things that I've made. And then we're going to go actually make a couple. Um, here's another one. This is a cute one. You grow girl. And there's just so much you can do with all the Maker Studio products that it's endless. I could have created a thousand pots. Look at this one. How fun is this one? And this is just the ceramic um, paint. I painted on white, took a uh, paper towel, blotted some off, and then I put on the blue. Same thing, and look how pretty that is. And then here I use the Rescue Restore blessed, and then the mesh stencil and some of the ceramic paint. And look at that cute little bird. And then, now this is one of the things I'm going to show you today. This is um, some of the Toscana milk paint. Look at how cute that came out. So we're going to do this also. And I think there's one other one. No, I think it's it. Okay, so I'm going to put these aside. So you you have seen what I've made. Um, basically, today we're going to have some fun with these. You've seen the other mesh stencils where the words are already together, but we're going to take these apart and have some fun. And you can see that I've already cut some letters out. And we're going to use, this is the alphabet one and alphabet four. These are the two that we're going to use today. So... Um, I need to get creating because I'm long-winded and I could create uh, crafts all day long with the Maker Studio because it's so easy. Um, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over to my project window and we're going to make Okay, so I have already pre-made cut the letters out and put them on for time's sake. So turn this mic off. That way we're we can get these done. <laughs> so how cute is this? Alexa, water me. I have my uh oh. My Alexa's gonna start playing. I'm gonna have to turn her off. Alexa, stop. <laughs> how funny, my Alexa actually, actually started playing. So uh, you cut your spreader down to the side you want. And I'm going to use the ceramic paint in black. I'm just going to squeeze some right here. And watch how easy this is. You simply just oops, drag it over it. Making sure you're pushing firmly enough to get it through the mesh stencil. And a little bit goes a long way. Oh, 
A maker studio has so many fun stencils. But if you don't know which one you want to use, you can create your own with the different alphabets. Okay, so I need to go a little slower here because I don't want it to go off of the gray. If I was really worried about it, I could get some painter's tape. I put my glasses on. That's the thing. Once you hit 45 and older, you just need to wear those glasses so you can see. <laughs> All right. So here we are. Now the fun part. This is the part that I love the best. Okay. So very important. When you pull these off, submit, submerge them in water. So I have a little bit of water right here. I'm going to stick them right in there. Look how fun. Okay, let me get these other ones. Ta-da! Now, there's only one thing that I need to do, and I'm going to put a comma right after Alexa. There we are. How cute is that? All right. So that was project number one. So this will look really cute with a big plant or some, you know, beautiful flowers, whatever you want to do. But that's the one fun little project right here. Okay. So next one, this is the one that I really like. This one's going to be a little messy though. As you can though see from my hands though, I'm already pretty messy. I've been crafting all morning. Okay, so we're gonna use two of my favorites. So uh, Strasbourg white and the Scandinavian gray milk paint. All right, so I've already mixed them up and I put them in these little containers and I made it a little thick, especially the white one just because I wanted to maybe, uh, I'll show you. So I'm making sure that I have all the paint on the bottom. Normally you want to strain it and make sure you get rid of all of the clumps, but I want clumps on here because it gives texture. So I'm just gonna put it on here. Again, this is the milk paint, Strasbourg White. See, I want to make sure that I get all that. So, get some of this. And actually, it dries a little faster than you might think. So, making, get a good coat. Oops. I want it to be kind of thick because I'm gonna be putting the gray over it. So there we go, see how that is? And I want it to dry like that. So I'm just gonna set it right here. There we go. I'm gonna put this out of the way. Now I wanna show you a real quick tip why this is drying. Actually, I'll lay it like this, you can see it. Now, a lot of you, when you guys use the stencils, you they're, they're very nice because you can reuse them. So what you do is you wash them. You just wash them, run them under cold water, and then you lay them upside to dry, upside down to dry. Now, sometimes you're like, what do I do with, do I put them back on the part that I cut them off? This is what I do. I have a, it's just uh, plastic, pretty, pretty firm, but, when I stick them on, they stick and I can see them and I can use both sides. So I have this new one here. So I'm gonna be able to put my alphabet on here and then I can just peel them off and then use them again. Wash them, let them dry, and then stick them back on. But these are great for storing your 
stencils. All right, so let's take a look at this. So this is drying pretty good. So you can see the little dots and spots, which typically you don't want when you're um, painting a piece of furniture with the with this. But I like this because let me show you the one that I created again. We'll get up close. Here, look how cute. Let's see, bring it back here. See the different colors and layers. All right, so now we're going to add our Scandinavian gray, which I've already pre-mixed. And I'm just shaking it, and then I'm going to take my brush, and I'm going to stir it again. And you'll notice there's lots of bubbles and stuff. I kind of get the bubbles off, but I want some of the clumps because it just looks um, just more texture on your pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here. No rhyme or reason. I'm just putting it on. I like to put it on kind of heavy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cloth and I'm going to kind of just rub it, dab it. Yes, this is messy, but look at this. Look how cute that is. What do you think? Now, if you're doing this and you feel like maybe you put too much gray on, well, you let it dry and then you can add another layer of white. But look how beautiful that is. I just love it. Also, I could take a little water and I could wet my paper towel and I can actually wipe some away if I want to. So let's, I'm just gonna, since it's still wet, I can just lightly take this paper towel rag and just kind of drag it and you can see is taking some of it off. A trick is always go in a circle. Looks a little bit more natural. See, let's go over here. See how cute that is? This is side a little bit heavy on the gray, but that's okay because like I said, we can set this down and I'm grab my white and I can add just a little bit of the white. Take my rag and just pat it. Now see that? So it's still a little bit wet. It's not, it doesn't look quite as white as this, but you don't want it to be perfect. You want it to look, look at that. How cute is that? So you can make a ton of these, big, small, and then let's see. This is what it looks like with the little, how cute is that? Oh, I love it. And then of course you want to finish it up with a little bunny. <laughs> okay, so I'm so proud of myself. Um, we're gonna go back to the main screen, mute this. And um, I just want to quickly show you some of the ones that I made again, just so you can see. Um, this I painted, actually, this one is uh, with the ceramic paint. And then I used the, my stencils and I used some of the different colors. I've got the, uh, the latte and some of the blue. Look how cute that is. You could do simply just have some fun, do some fun sayings. There's all different kinds of sayings that you can find on Pinterest. But I thought this was cute. You grow, girl. <laughs> and then um, this one here is the caterpillar. I mean, <laughs> cricket. <laughs> and then I used just some of the lot chocolate latte ceramic paint, put it on, and I just took a rough paper towel and I just kind of rubbed it in and see the look it gave? Perfect. Just enough. 
And this one has a little bit of the um, Toscana milk paint. And then this here is the ceramic paint in lot chocolate latte. And then of course this one, I love this one. Look at this. I just started with white and then I used a few of the other colors and I just layered them. And I took my uh, napkin with a little bit of water. I just rubbed it in and you can get all these different kind of looks. I really wanted to be able to show all of these, but of course I only get 20 minutes, but this is just some of the things that you can create with it. And finally, I want to show the last one that I just did. Look at this one. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. I'm just turning around all sides so you can see. So you can see where it's lighter and darker, but it's amazing what you can create. And this is just simply with this. Okay, so I just want to tell you thank you for watching and um, make sure you register for the giveaway. It's right here in the comments. Click the link and register for the giveaway. They're giving away all kinds of fun uh, Maker Studio products. And um, coming up next will be Carrie. She's from Mama Dares to DIY. So thank you for watching and you guys have a fabulous rest of your day.